What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Against All Odds podcast. I'm here with my teammates, Toby and Brian. How are you guys doing? What's going on, guys? What's up, people? Blessings. Um, so we're back here now for season four, I think, um, but just starting off with the teammates. So let's roll the intro and let's get started. So before we even hop in the podcast, I just want to thank the sponsor of this uh, of this podcast, ChaosSoccerGear.com. Chaos Soccer Gear is a young brand that they have some like a very cool soccer ball, a t-shirt, a ball pump, and they're looking to explore and to add more products to their line. So if you guys are interested, check out Chaos Soccer Gear at ChaosSoccerGear.com. Chaos Tugger Gear. <laughs> Chaos. Check that out. It sounded like Marlon. <laughs> um, but anyway, so if you, these guys have both been on the podcast before. Uh, Toby and Brian, if you guys want to hear their full stories, we can just pop on and I'll link it in the description for both of you. Mm -hmm. Um, but just as a little refresher, uh, Toby, do you want to just give it like your name, age, position, that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, I'm Ben Oluzo. Everyone calls me Toby. Um, but I was born and raised in Nigeria. I'm 25 years old now and I play striker. I'm a striker. I play forward. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Uh, Brian Reyes, I'm 28 years old. I'm a defensive mid. And um, yeah, I'm originally from Honduras. I'm um, raised in Bronx, New York. And uh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, Back awesome. Here. And so you guys obviously were on the team last year. And then um, you both obviously resigned to come back here so uh is this i know like toby you were at the switchbacks for two years right yeah. and then brian you've resigned with multiple teams like multiple years in a row right like right. in I honduras was, and i was in platense for four years mm -hmm. so yeah and then uh last year then i signed with uh, tulsa because mm -hmm. so that's been nice though because this is my very first time i've ever returned somewhere oh okay. like i've always bounced and bounced and bounced okay. and bounced yeah coaches uh, just don't like me i guess <laughs> Yeah. I know, I know. There's lots of clubs that I was like wanted to go back. <laughs> just throw me under the bus. Are you happy to be back? Yeah, I'm really it's it's really nice to be back. How 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 were you guys' thoughts coming back and like resigning and everything? I was I was happy. Like to be to be honest, um initially once the season ended, I was not sure if I was gonna come back, but um, um based on some extra stuff happening like out of soccer, because I was plugged in in, in the church community here and long story cut short like it, it, the signs were so clear that i had to be back here you know because there were a lot of people in my that, that i was that i was invested in you know mm -hmm. that was part of the reason why i came back but then also like you see the new branding and like a lot of things they try to change this year um so so I, i'm like honestly i have no regrets coming back like i'm so happy to be here this year yeah and about you, how yeah. was like your that process like resigning? Was it exciting? Were you excited to come back and everything? Yeah, I was excited to come back. Actually, um, uh, I feel like uh, we need we we could have done a lot more, like better. And um, coming back, it's like a challenge to me. You know, mm -hmm. just the fact that okay, I have a, a new opportunity to put us on a map and do better than what we did last year. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and uh, like I like this is the first time where it's like like I said I've, I've never like come back to like the same teammates before like I've always bounced mm -hmm. and it's nice to like be back and be like right. I know how Toby likes to play I know how you like to play right. I know how like people their tendencies yeah. and stuff because mm -hmm. I know like Toby's not very strong so I can't play it, I can't I can't play it to his feet. <laughs> <laughs> no but it is it, honestly it is, it's very cool to like come back and be able to play with it, teammates again because like i haven't done that since college and that was like back wow. in like 2012 or something mm -hmm. um but then let's talk about like your off season so once season ended what did what did you guys do like did you guys go straight back home um yeah i went back to houston texas because that's where most of my family um is based right now like my nuclear family like my close family um so I went back there. You call it your nuclear family? Yeah, because in Nigeria they tell us that nuclear is like, it's like your your dad, your your dad, your mom, mm -hmm. your sister, your sip, um, your brothers. But then the extended family is like your cousins. You guys have never heard of that? I've never heard of nuclear. Yeah, I like, say like yeah, this immediate is, family. This is my yeah. first time here. Yeah, it's well. like we call it nu nuclear family and then extended family. But okay, yeah, um, I went back to Houston, Texas, and I was with them for. Um, um, a month and a half, and then I went to Nigeria for two weeks, and then I came 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 back to Houston for a couple of days, then came to Tulsa. Mm -hmm. but that's in terms of like what where I went. That's what I that's where I went. Yeah. 
And you were you went you stayed here for a while, didn't I you? I stayed here for yeah about a month, mm-hmm. and then um then I went to I flew to New York. That's where my mom and sisters. That's where my family is. You had a really cool story too when your mom came down and watched you play. Right, right. That was, that was like one of my favorite moments from the from the <laughs> year. That was cool because yeah, you cried, huh? You cried. I, well, yeah, I, yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, explain explain what happened. Like, your, when's the last time your mom saw you play? Wow, this was when I played um youth soccer. <laughs> this was maybe like two thousand and eight, two thousand over ten years ago. Over ten years ago. Uh, that's the last so time you're... she's seen me on TV, but, you know, it's not the same as if she's there live, you know, just... So, that, so when she came <clears> down and, and watched you play in Tulsa, it was the first time she's seen you play live in person in over like a decade. In over like a decade, yeah, pretty much. Because you, because I mean, if you guys haven't heard Brian's story, you played over in Hungary, played, you played yeah. in Honduras for a long time, so this is your first time coming back to America. Right. So this is like the real first opportunity for right. that to happen. Right. Which, and that was cool, like you had a couple photos, like hugging your mom after the mm-hmm. game. That was like, damn, that was, that was cool. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, um, but uh, uh, but so you were in Tulsa for a bit, um, and you were doing coaching and training. I was doing coaching and and yeah, just doing training, yeah, going to the gym, and just pretty much just getting ready for for this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then so like after the full season, you play for like nine ten months, and it's like you're, it's a toll on your body. How yeah. long do you guys do you take any rest? Do you, do you rest a week, two weeks? Like oh, yeah. what what goes through your head? I took like I took two weeks off. Like mm-hmm. like after season was done, I I went back to Houston. Two weeks, absolutely nothing. Like didn't touch a soccer ball. But um, like maybe two or, two or three days, I would like moderately go on the bike, <laughs> yeah, for, like twenty minutes and just do some core and then do some yoga. Like you know, just like active, just active stuff. So you know, just <clears throat> staying on the couch, not doing anything the whole the whole week. But literally two weeks, I didn't I didn't see a soccer ball. I didn't touch a soccer ball. Nothing. Like my plan was rest two weeks and then um, and then after that. Start doing the things that I like. I plan on doing, like working on the off season, like, mm-hmm. like quickness, speed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? But, uh, Your bicycle kicks, or whatever. Oh yes, nah, nah. Toby, Toby tried to do a bicycle kick today. Oh my god, <laughs> I got in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got in trouble for doing that. On um, did you? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he was like six feet off the ground. Yeah, I, yeah I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon. But yeah. in a game. But in the game, yeah, watch out. And, oh, and congratulations. You had the USL goal of the year last year, huh? Yeah. From a bicycle kick. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, big congrats about that. That's, <laughs> that's but, sick. But, yeah, like, I'm um, two weeks off, and I don't know if you want me to go in details about, like... Yeah, go in detail. How, like, I had a list on my notes before I, before I even went to Houston. I had a list on my, like, on my phone on the things that I wanted to work on. And, like, no jokes. Agility was there, just, like, reaction... Um, first touch on the ball, all that stuff. I had a long list. Mm-hmm. And my plan was after two weeks, I'll start working on that. So two weeks goes by, and the first day I go back on the soccer field, like I'm playing like small sided on at like this at this place in Houston, and boom, I get hurt. Like I like my outside of of my of my of my knee, probably the LCL or something. So it's crazy when like you had this plan, you know. And then boom, I just had a bad, I had a bad injury. So like pretty much the whole off season, I didn't do any of those stuff. Like mm-hmm. I had like a, like eight different things I plan on working on, <laughs> but I couldn't even like, my body couldn't even do any of that stuff. So my mindset had to change. I started working more on like, just, okay, I'll just bike so I could try to control my weight. Cause remember I text you yeah, and I was, and, and we had a conversation and you were like, it's smarter to just come into pre- preseason even though you're out of shape, come into preseason healthy, then go and do all these workouts with yeah. your injury and then come here like 40% or 50%. So that's what I did. I just biked, um, got a little bit of touches on the ball with my brother. And and honestly, ma- mainly the offseason was just more like like mental, the mental side of the game. Like I, I did a lot of reading, like reading books, you know, spending time reading, reading the Bible and stuff. So like I could like, prepare my mind even though i'm not really preparing my body you know mm-hmm. like i should so what was your what was your like book like the biggest book recommendation you have to like do you have one that like stuck out or do you just um there's this book called adam by ted decker mm-hmm. yeah i i can't really i can't really explain it it's, it's just good it's, just it's, it's, yeah it's good <clears throat> it's 
probably one of the first books I've completed, even though in college you're supposed to complete a lot of books. <laughs> <laughs> but it that that was that that is pretty good. But no, I just like I was like, okay, even if I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be like I might not be on the same level as everyone else, like physically. Mm-hmm. Like at least let me like train something that I can train, you know. So it was more like my mind and like, you know, like maturity, like my character. And I didn't even think you came into preseason out of shape. Yeah, wait till I tell you about the first week. <laughs> Brian, what you, how's your offseason? Yeah, what, what about you? So for rest, do you take how many days yeah, off, actually, weeks off? I, I took a week off. Just a week? But then um, I'll do like pickups. I'll do like, I'll go for jogs, like maybe like a two mile run. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's hard. I, yeah, I, I do it too. I, I do it too. I just, yeah, so, um, so I took a week off and then um, just doing pickups and working on my fitness and things like that. Mm-hmm. And then I took like a a two week off again and just just trying to um trying to like uh watch on my you know my diet and stuff which that was hard because mm-hmm. I you know how I eat. <laughs> and um, mom was feeding me a lot so um, it's hard when you're home though, huh? It's hard. Yeah. So what I always do is like a week be like two weeks before I'm going I'm coming to Tulsa. Um, that's when I started pushing a little more, mm-hmm. you know, just doing like, you know, uh, a lot of like speed, speed workouts and stuff and, um, pickups. Yeah. I saw so. you and Manny getting a lot of like good workouts too. Yeah. That like, was, this, this was here in Tulsa. Yeah. yeah. So that, so when you, so you take the week off right when it ends and then do you like train and then would you take the two weeks off that's or is it, it right after? I took because this we we had like almost two months, right? Yeah, it was break. like yeah, it was like two months. It was like two month break, yeah. So two weeks before coming to Tulsa, that's mm-hmm. when I started like pushing a little more, you know, just doing like uh, a lot of strength work, and I was actually reading as well, just preparing my mind to like, okay, what's what am I gonna do better? What am, what can I improve on? Um, pretty much, okay. Um, how can I improve my my so I'm a, since I'm a, I'm a I'm a defensive mid, what can I do better? What can I um do different than last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, do you have a book recommendation that you like one that stuck uh, out or Power of Vision? Power uh, of Vision by Miles Monroe. Okay. Yeah. Miles Monroe. Yeah. Power of Vision. That's good. It's about is that like a visualization book? Like to yeah, pretty much about you know your plans, like God's vision in your life, and um how to stay on track on that Mm -hmm. yeah and then so did you you traveled back home right back home how was that it was nice to be home man it's beautiful man (laughs) yeah yeah it's always great with family and friends is is a boost you you you, you, uh you learn to not take it for granted when you are away for a long time huh yeah like you you enjoy it and then how was nigeria oh it was it was I, just, I the whole the whole off season the whole off season I just see Toby just dancing. He's either playing two touch <laughs> soccer tennis or he's dancing. That's the, the whole off season. Mind, mind you, um, I was hurt. Yeah, I was kind of hurt in the off season too. But it was my. It didn't look like you were. Yeah, yeah. It was. I was posting videos of me dancing on social media while I was with my whole. <laughs> but now nah, it was my my grandma's 80th birthday mm. celebration. So like wow. most, a lot of people from the states or from England, like just flew to Nigeria. So it was like it's like a once in a yeah you know in a like lifetime celebration. You know, so even though my my knee was not. Cooperating, I had to. <laughs> you had to get on the dance floor. Move, bro. I had to move. <laughs> but nah, it was it was amazing seeing family, man. Yeah, it was amazing seeing family, seeing her. Like it was crazy because last time I saw her, which was like a year and a half ago, she was walking fine. Then the first time I saw her, like her her daughters were were her yeah her daughters were helping her like walk, you know. So like that like hit me. Like, yeah, you know? but that time is. You know, time time is going. Yeah. yeah. You know, time waits for nobody. But it's good that it was right in off season too. No, it was perfect. It was good timing. It was perfect. I think they planned it so I could so I could steal the show. You know? <laughs> but, <hey. laughs> but no, that was that was fun. That was fun for sure. 
Uh, yeah, that's cool. And then, um, so then you like were just talking about that, but like about how like stuff that you wanted to do differently for this year. Mm-hmm. Like okay. everybody has the goals, obviously. They're like the <laughs> standard. I don't want to talk about that. Like obviously, win a championship, you know, score goals and get assists. But like, do you have anything that you're gonna do like differently? Like for example, for me, like I stayed after and did a lot of crossing uh, last year, but I I want to do that more. And then also like obviously with the injury, like I really want to do my rehab prehab like even more strict than even last year like that's one change i want to do for this year do you guys have like something like that yeah i definitely the whole prehab rehab thing like i've never really taken that like seriously Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um but now i've seen how important it is for just little things that's as like foam rolling you know like Mm -hmm. it seemed like i read this stuff in the off season about how it quickens your recovery or like your healing process you know almost as important as drinking water like yeah. you know it's great like it's crazy you know and i saw all of that i was like like the time where i'm normally like on my phone or just like even doing stuff like biking in the locker room like i need to be doing stuff that's more like you know that, that really helps that like, even though like you may not when you're gifted you don't you kind of like you kind of like shun those things. You you don't really pay attention to those things. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm a good soccer player. Or like, two weeks straight, I played like on the, at a good level in training mm-hmm. and at games, but I didn't do all this extra stuff. Yeah. You, know? so you, don't, think, you don't see the importance you take of it, it. Yeah, you take it for granted. Yeah, you take it. it for granted, you know, but you never know the mm-hmm. day that, boom, you land wrong or something or somebody hits you and you're you're hurt, you know? So like, so that that's definitely one thing I want to change Towards the end of the last season, I started working a lot more with like like staying after, just working on on headers and, and stuff. But the key thing that I want to do this year, like in my in my game, is working on the things I'm already good at. You know, yeah, strengthening up your strengths even yeah. more. Yeah, so that at least when the like okay when for example when the ball is in the air, everyone knows that okay something might come out of this. Yeah, like, that's what he's you know that's what I do you know mm-hmm. like. So I want to work on the things that I'm really like I'm already like decent at, and just like take it to the next level, you know? Like, yeah. I'm not gonna really be concentrating that much on creating because <clears throat> yeah, there's players to do that, you yeah, know, on right. the team. But that's that's pretty soccer wise. That's pretty much it. But like, but then also off the field stuff is just being being a good teammate, man. Because you're terrible at that last year. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, but just being a good teammate, bro. Because I like. Like, I really just want, like, it's, I want us to, I want it to be like, if it's 25 people on the roster, it's 25 people on the team, you know, mm. not 11 players on the team, you know, mm. like, you know, yeah. even, if, even if I'm not traveling for a trip or like two trips or even more than that, like, I want to, even from home, be able to impact the guys, like the guys on the team that are going to be playing the games because we're a family, like we're a team, you know, it's, this is not like, like, at basketball where one person can just go iso and yeah. drop like 30 points or 40 points you know? yeah like like we all need each other yeah we all need need each other so like those like that's that's pretty much what i want to change this year compared compared to last year individually mm-hmm. well you be right um I, I i'm sure you guys heard this before but if if you want different results you have to do different things you know so pretty much i'm um, going back on like my past years as a pro okay what can i do different this time and the foaming the rolling the getting the stretches the putting in the extra work before training just take that serious you know Mm -hmm. the ice bath uh shout out to manny he he got me into like being strict on that you do an ice bath like every day almost every like, day yeah, yeah. especially and, with the double days yeah yeah and he it, it actually it, help, it works for me you know i mm-hmm. don't know for everyone else but it works for me and um i thank money for that because he he really pushed me into that and um just that just putting in the extra work you know mm-hmm. push through the pain yeah i think that's what that's what get us you know to the top uh, and i like what you said like how like that's what works for me because it's like I think that's the most important thing is mm-hmm. like what works for what you, works for you exactly. because like what I like to do and what, what I like helps me mentally mm-hmm. on the field, it might actually really not help somebody else. Right. Exactly. Like I know players who like for their whole career really didn't work out that much, mm-hmm. but they're much better players than me. Right. So it's like, well, that works for well, them. If yeah. it works for you, you <laughs> yeah. know, like I don't agree, but like if it works for you, Hey, you know, yeah. where it works for you. And you like what you do for your body. Remember, you do 15 pull-ups and you'd oh, gain 10 pounds. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I was talking to I was talking to Matt like what three four days ago about like me going to the gym. I try not to touch weights. I try not to do too much lifting, even too much pull ups or like you know because I know the way my body is, and whenever I do that for a certain like for even let's say three times a week, I do that. The next week, I'm gonna be I'm gonna add like. So I'm gonna add a good like four, four pounds. <laughs> of, of, of solid of muscle. Solid muscle yeah. That, even though people may think, oh, that's good and all, like that actually restricts me from from moving as smooth as I want to move on the soccer field. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like it's yeah, it's just knowing it's just knowing what works for you, knowing the exact right. weight that you need to be on, mm-hmm. and that's that's the. Because if we switch diet programs and workout programs, yeah, <laughs> you would be 250 <laughs> pounds, and I would be 140 pounds. <laughs> That's right. honestly because they're just different. Yeah. yeah. Um. But that's like I feel like people need to kids need to know that especially too. Like take a look in the mirror and figure out who you are, yeah. what works for you, exactly. what's not. You know. Because yeah. like Gareth Bale, like has said something, or uh, other players I've seen that are just built, and they're like, I've never touched a weight. But right. then you see like a scrawny eleven year old, like I'm not never gonna touch a weight. I'm like, well, mm. may, maybe you should. Maybe you should. <laughs> yeah. you should. Need it, yeah. But just like stuff like that. So I like mm. this. Like you know what works for you, ice bass, whatever. Yeah. If you like that, you think it helps your body, you feel good after. Mm-hmm. then i think it's Just like yeah keep doing it yeah. yeah and then um so also coming back the a lot of things have changed with the club you know like the logo is different mm-hmm. all the colors are different we're no longer the roughnecks we're fc tulsa so what are you guys thoughts on the whole rebranding and everything this year oh um, it's different <laughs> i love it i love it i love it man i love i love yeah. how they it's, set everything up it's it's different for sure because i've been i've been in league for this would be my Fourth year, maybe. You're 25? 24? 25. 25. 25, yeah. It's my fourth year in the league. And, I mean, I know some other teams do, do like, some of the stuff we're doing this year now. But, like, this is the first time I'm having, like, a, having to wear a GPS tracker yeah. before every session. So, that, like, like, it feels, all in all, it feels, like, a lot more, like, professional. Mm. Like, a lot of things that we have to do, like, putting our weight before after training put in our exertion level like put in where our, our, our body is hurting yeah like that. and then mm-hmm. the gps trackers too like like besides the colors and the brand like all that other stuff like i'd say that that part is like it's already key you know? yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's it just shows that they're caring a lot more for like like the i don't know how you the technical aspect of the game like you know i don't know what the word to use but but it, it definitely just feels so much more professional. Yeah. Because, like, if you guys don't know, if you guys are listening, last year we didn't have the GPS trackers. We kind of just trained. Um, and we just kind of, like, we show up, we weighed in, and I think we had to enter in our weight. Yeah, yeah. we had to enter in our weight before and after. But this year it's, like, a full app. Like, yeah. we have the full app. Like, put in your weight, your readiness, how many hours of sleep you got, yeah. your mood, your fatigue levels. Right. You highlight on the body, like, where you're sore. And then it tracks how many miles you're putting in, the sprints, all the normal stuff a GPS do, unit does. Um, and then just like, that's what Joby said. Like, I just, it's like very professional. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's really, really good. Yeah. What about you? I mean, just what Toby said, just it helps also, it helps us um, see and think, okay, uh, I need to improve my, you know, all aspects of my games mm-hmm. in, in, in in the sense of okay I ran this this amount of miles how mu- how many how much miles do I need to run to like be prepared to a, for a 90 minute game so it helps us see that and just push yourself push us you know? yeah I like it. it's just like when you see like somebody investing into you mm-hmm. you it like it just like motivates you even more right. to like put in more work and exactly. have a good attitude because yeah. you know there's people that really want the best out of you right. and like you to succeed. So like, exactly. I'm not saying like last year they didn't do that because they definitely did, but it's just even taken up to the next level. Mm-hmm. So it's been really cool. And I love the colors and the, the branding like that. Yeah. I think it looks really good. Um, Gucci, yeah. Gucci wants to be in it too. Huh? As long as she doesn't stop the recording on the computer, she's yeah. good. What's up, Gucci? <laughs> um, and then so we came in and we did a fitness test. Mm-hmm. Or you guys think it was a different, it was like a beep test. You, you want to explain like what, 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 how was the fitness and what would we do? Um, it was, it was different because I, like, I guess guys were preparing themselves to run like a beep, like a yeah. beep test. Yo, yo. I was more like, I was thinking of a beep test. It was more yeah. like a sprint, a sprint test with, mm-hmm. with, it was a shuttle test. Yeah. Yeah. It was a shuttle test. So you sprint, what, 25 yards? 
I think I don't. I don't remember how far it was. It was <laughs> I think you sprint. You sprint like. Yeah, I think it was twenty. It was twenty five. The first one was twenty five. Twenty five, and then you jog back, and then you sprint that twenty five again, and you do that what three times? Yeah, and then it goes a yard each it time, a, right? It goes mm-hmm. a yard. Is it a yard? Yeah, it goes a yard each time. Yeah. So it's weird. It wasn't like the beep test where you're constantly going. You go and then you can get a little rest and then go again. So it's more like what what I liked about the fitness test was that it was more like game realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how in a soccer game you you're not just running like nonstop like you like a cross country runner. Mm-hmm. You run, you stop, you go again. You know, but what made it like so different was that each level was was longer than the previous one. Mm-hmm. So this one was twenty five. The next one was maybe like. It was, you think it was 26 you think it was one yard it was like it was probably like maybe not even maybe half a yard yeah yeah it was like a, it was like a, like a little step yeah so i felt like between each one but you still had the same amount of time to go and come back for each one so mm-hmm. so it was it was cool yeah so you just had to pick up the pace like yeah. it was like going one level up on the treadmill on speed yeah. each like distance yeah. you killed that stuff huh I just have the body type for that. Yeah. It's like different. Like, yeah. like honestly, I could come in and never do any fitness work ever, and I feel like I could be middle of the pack and not do one run in mm. off season. That was crazy though. I didn't run at all, and I didn't pretty much because of my injury. I didn't do much in the off season, but the test was doable. Yeah, yeah. it was like more like recovery and boom. boom yeah, yeah. You know? mm. If it was the beep test or the, I probably would have been done. I would be <laughs> shattered because. <laughs> you know, like I got the time to recover, so like I was, I was surprised I was able to actually like to to um, hang in there. But we also did the broad jump test, and this dude killed it. <laughs> oh, the the, the broad jump, the broad jump, jump, yeah. yeah we did the broad jump. I can test, jump, I can jump. I was like, I was like hey, Shetty got some bounce, man. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could, I can jump pretty yeah, far. Yeah, that that was. And then what was the other test we did? The it was like an L turn thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was like a like sprint out like five yards or so, come back. Yeah. Then sprint out another five yards. So it's like three times, yeah. and then you turn to the right. You circle. You come back. So it was like a little like L cone kind of thing, but just to test like agility. agility but it was good. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like. But my I feel like the my least favorite uh fitness test is the Cooper. You guys ever had to run oh, the Cooper? That's, that's the worst. The two mile, the, the two mile and twelve, 12 minutes, minutes, the most yeah. unrealistic thing. Yeah, I've never done. I've never. I've, done, I've never yeah. done the Cooper. That was my college yeah. fitness test, yeah. and every time, like I same thing. I that's I'm decent at it, but like it's just one of those. It's like you're never just straight pace forever, mm. you know. So I really like this fitness test. Again, it's just another like I was like, oh wow, this is good. Yeah. I like it. It's just another another thing that was really good. Mm-hmm. Um. And then also like so we've been going we're in week four this is our fourth week now here wow. yeah it's crazy yeah huh? yeah I felt like I, I looked because I was uh, I was like writing in my journal because I was like uh-huh. doing stuff and I was like oh it's like the second or third week and then I went back and looked at the calendar I'm like oh, no it's week four um, almost but we're like there. yeah almost there almost almost there I'm not I'm I'm actually not thinking about it like I I'm not like not thinking about the time i'm just like okay i need to get in shape i need to be ready for the season mm-hmm. I need to put in my work and just you know yeah take it day by day take it day by day yeah, yeah. that's why we're all like oh crap it's four weeks or mm-hmm. because that's probably everyone's mindset because you know? <laughs> then if you like, think if you think about day. it like day, okay yeah. um, you know four weeks yeah. is gone you know yeah. yeah that's right that's right man that's the that's the right mindset to have man so the whole the whole podcast your microphone <laughs> yeah i gotta put it like this because i'm not gonna like hold it here if i'm not talking so, <laughs> yeah, I'm, so yeah I'm i mean like, to, oh, yeah. i've been i've been like this I the whole time yeah but then you're yeah this is diff- this is different okay <laughs> i feel like i'm i'm i'm, I'm preaching a sermon or <laughs> the next the next podcast upgrade is the full like ones that hold the mic so then you yeah. can just sit here with the mic just being oh, held like that move it but yeah, yeah. i need another sponsor so if anybody's out there wants to sponsor the podcast <laughs> come and sponsor and then i can get the uh the microphone stands yeah that's uh, the other level huh? the, the next level, next up. level yeah, up. The, the two days have died down a little bit because yeah. mm-hmm. now we're only doing like uh one two a day week uh but i feel like what you said like how you go day by day is like a very like footballer's mindset 
I like because it's almost the same thing. You go season mm-hmm. by season. Like right. you're looking at like contract. You're like you can't really think too far ahead, right? Because so much is unknown. You don't know where you're gonna be. Yeah. You know. So I feel like a lot of the professional soccer players I've met have had that like go week by week or day mm-hmm. by day or contract by contract. Because then you stress yourself thinking about it. Like oh man, uh, next week is coming. It is it two double days or one double day? Ah, oh, come on. Yeah. It's like a extra stuff you need to think about. And it's like, I think the worst when my mind goes is when I'm a free agent. Mm-hmm. And then you're like doing um, the off season with a free agency. Off season is the worst. <laughs> that off season is the worst, man. Yeah, free agent. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Was that the worst year between? Was that the when was the worst year of free agency for you? Well, mine was mine was the very first year, right? <clears throat> like the very very first year before I signed in Colorado. Mm-hmm. Like, but the thing is that I was not. I was never. I wasn't playing pro already. But before I signed my first professional contract. I told, I literally told myself, look, if this year I don't get a contract, like, I'm done. Really? Like, it was that, it was that, like. The very first year. The very first year, because the year before that, I already had trials with five or six different teams. Yeah, I remember that. And And you were playing, like, PDL or NPSL, right? PDL. I got all you guys' full careers up here. I know everything. Yeah, so the first year was definitely so stressful. And ever since I started playing pro, I'm not... I'm not stressed that much about it. Like mm-hmm. before I came to Tulsa, I actually, but my my coach, my coach from my coach from Colorado basically told me, um, go, you need to go find a team in League One to to get back to do so you could do well and then get back in the USL. So I was like honestly stressing out already. Mm-hmm. And then a week later, my um, my head coach now in FC Tulsa called me and I was like. Yeah. yeah, I don't have to have that stressful off yeah. <laughs> But when do, have you had like a bad off season like that with free agency? Uh, thank God, nah, man. Yeah. It's, it's like okay, before the season, and I've I've gotten calls or like um coaches or staff approach me, and it's like okay, um, we're thinking about and you know, so everything's kind of like falling one yeah, after the other. I'm but. I'm thankful for that, and you know, that's good because you're yeah. you're are you 29 now? 28. 28. When yeah. do you turn 29? September. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's good. Um, yeah. Cause like I've had, I felt like I've, yeah, I, I've I, had a couple I, I'm of I'm thinking about it. So I, it must be stressful it's, to like, okay, I don't have a contract. And then, and, the, the, and then how do you motivate yourself to like keep going and push yourself? Mm-hmm. And, um, cause you go out to the field and you're training and you're like, what am I training for? Right. Like, am I going to have a trial next week? Is it not going to come for three months? Am I mm-hmm. never going to have a trial? Uh, but and the worst is when you're sitting there and you're on Instagram and you just see all of your friends and other teammates right. getting signed, getting signed, and you're just scrolling. And then the worst back mm-hmm. in 2018 when I didn't get like I was injured, yeah. and then you see preseason starting up and you are at home yeah. and you're just chilling and right. you're like, what I think also is like that that I think that helps like it helps you, I don't know it helps you like mentally and like. Right. If you're driving and it's like okay this is really my passion i really i really want to do this and i think it helps you like mature and like okay i need to i need to i need to this is my dream and i need to go for it yeah it doesn't matter if i'm not seeing things but i have faith that something is going to happen so it kind of like helps in your faith helps in like believing in in that something is going to come up and you just got to put in the work and eventually things are going to fall into place. Yeah. And you guys, um, you guys are probably like one of the, the like very religious guys on the team, huh? Like you guys are very, <laughs> you have good, I don't know how to say the word well, it right. Well, it's fine. People call it religious, but we're just like, we're Christian. It's not like, it's not like do's or don'ts that makes it like, makes us who we are. Mm-hmm. It's not a list of do's and don'ts. It's just like relationship, relationship, like it's grace. You know? mm-hmm. but, and I'm, but that's no probably way. helped in those moments, like helped a lot. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Like, like it, like initially it's like, okay, just cause we're human, you know, like initially it's like, oh, like, dang, I'm mean, not, I'm mean, not have this, you know, but then you have to always like, Go back to like the roots. Go back to where your life is like. Whatever foundation you have, you know, and like that's what my foundation. My foundation is on is in Jesus, and and his his is from knowing him to his foundation is in Jesus Christ. So it's like like even though things may seem hard, you just you just know that everything is like working for your good, you know. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, even though deep down you do want to play professional soccer, like my mindset, like now, it's like even if soccer may not work out for me 
like I know that that based on my relationship, based that based on the fact that I know that he loves, like God loves and cares about me, whatever is going to come, that that middle soccer is going to be, be, gonna be yeah. better. It's going to be better than what like that me playing soccer. You know, mm -hmm. that's you know, um, option or decision for me. So so it's like it honestly like removes stress. It removes like like overthinking. Yeah, all this like this cycle of oh. I want this and then it happens you're like happy and then it gets taken away from you and you're like sad again and then and then it comes back you're like happy you know it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's just like it's not it's not like in the past i've just not been stable and and, and that was before even playing soccer you know i just never had stability in my life but now it's like i'm so stable it's like even though things like hard 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 hardship comes it hits me it's like I'm on like I'm on like solid ground, you know. Like mm -hmm. foundation is solid, so I mean I may move a little bit, but I'm not like falling, you know. So it's like that's basically like that's my life to me. So like right now it's like I'm working by by faith, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm working by faith and not by what things may look like, not by sight. So that's good. Good, man. Yeah. Really good. And it you do get discouraged, you do get sad, you do you know, mm -hmm. but then you have to bounce back and like toby said go back to your roots where where is your faith um it's not just what you see is it's, it's what's uh, sometimes the realest thing is what you don't see you know mm -hmm. but then you have to know how to see that in the darkness that's that's when the truth comes out uh, that's mm -hmm. when you learn how to you know just push up yeah. push, and then yeah that's faith man yeah that's good yeah that's really good. That's like honestly, it is like you. You can just see though. It does seem like it's like very like peace, you know. Yeah. Which is good. It's like a good mindset. Like you can see. Honestly, you can really see. Um. So that's really good. Uh. And then so so uh, let's go back to uh, the double days and everything. How's the? <clears throat> how do you recover? Like how do you in the double day times like now? Like how do you manage your body the best you can? Because it's a tough time for everybody. And there's players that go through double days. Like, is there anything that you do? That's just besides just the normal stuff. Besides, what's like, the normal? Like, uh, like, what do you do? Like, for like recovery and everything. Recovery just because you talk have, about ice baths. Yeah, ice bath. That's that's that has to be like the main thing for me. Ice bath because it actually helps me a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to like have like a bar after afterwards, or just have a shake, like something to to snack on. Shake. right away after like you guys uh, have protein shakes or is yeah. it just like smoothies smoothies, smoothies yeah like green smoothies mm -hmm. like um, yeah just add up a little protein and what's stuff. in your smoothies um mine is normally <laughs> <laughs> mine is normally strawberry chicken root, root chicken no. <laughs> what <laughs> what? Nah. no 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 <laughs> it doesn't I put chicken, chicken in, in my smoothie okay <laughs> <laughs> I put, I put, I put, I put strawberry <laughs> blueberries bananas orange apple spinach um and I think that's it so just a lot and of fruit coco and coconut water coconut, coconut, coconut water coconut water cuz that like helps that. so it's just like hydrating tons of vitamins yeah. and minerals yeah. like a lot of fiber yeah. like I don't, I don't put i don't put the whole protein thing mm -hmm. you don't you're different than me yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're different yeah but yeah I, the key the key to and almond milk yeah i put almond milk also so like but like the coconut water is something like i after the first week of pre <laughs> After the first week of preseason, I had to stop putting that because um, um, some teammates, Bradley, and then I think John Jonathan told me that that helps with like replenishing mm -hmm. electrolytes back in your system. So that's definitely something I I started doing like in between sessions, you know, and and that's been pretty much it. Mm -hmm. It's just like sleeping and, and, oh, sleeping. and yeah. that that like naps and being able to sleep good at night. Just yeah. go to bed early if you know you're gonna have a double day. It's that's get, what that's trying like, to get your rest man. Yeah, yeah that's like the thing that i've made i made the switch halfway through the year last year but that was like something i really added to like the routine because i was like because i would stay up editing until like one sometimes yeah. wow. and just like wake up and then wake up early to do more work or whatever and have like five six hours of sleep at night sometimes and then i'd like try to recover mm -hmm. but now it's minimum eight like i, I go into bed nine o'clock i'll read for like 20 minutes 30 minutes with no like electronics tv or anything pass right out and sleep in mm. what like and i always i like my alarm never wakes me up so it's like i'm really focused on sleep right. like like that's like a, just something i've like added 
I've been feeling great. Like I've been, I love it. How was your yeah. first week? It was good too. The first week, it was a little well, tough. <laughs> first week was like first week was bad. Like it was very, very like it was bad for me. Like I had to lift my legs, like to get in my car. Like I'm yeah. not playing. Like I had to like get in my car, like this. Uh, and even like when I'm putting like my clothes on, like it was it was bad. Like, that wasn't that bad. Like it was, like, it was bad. I knew it was. I was like okay. I knew that the fact that I didn't do, I didn't suck, I didn't do anything pretty much suck, um, soccer related in the off season. I knew it was gonna be hard, but it's like the first session is like I could get through the first session, but then the the recovery, I I can't recover quick before the next session. Yeah. You know? right. So the second session is just like all mental. Yeah. Like, I think the mm. first four days I cramped up. I cramped up. <laughs> All together, I kept up in my calves, my hip, my quads, my hamstring, <laughs> and my. I remember kept up in my back one time. <laughs> Your back, bro. I'm saying, I remember kept up in my back one time when I turned. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but after, the first, after the first week, I think the first week just shocked my system, and then and and then the next week, everything like got so much better. That's yeah, good. Yeah. I've never <laughs> heard you, of a back you, cramp like did that. Did you cramp up? I've never cramped up no. playing soccer before. Wow. What? Yeah. But yes. I cramp up, so I cramp up at, like in bed, like if I'm pulling my hamstring or like oh, moving yeah? my foot sometimes, okay, but I've okay. never while running or playing cramped up. Mm. Not going to lose, right? Okay. No, I kind of want to see what it's like. <laughs> no, you don't want to see what it's like. <laughs> Not going to win. But yeah, no, honestly, it's, I don't know. But like you I said, like cramp up. Hmm? You don't want him to cramp up. Yeah, I don't want you to cramp up. No. But I, but I think it's probably because... I, like I sweat. Do I sweat? I sweat. Talk about your. You drink so much water. So much Both water. of you. You drink a lot of water too, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, we sweat about about the same amount, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> it's I crazy. Drink after like, the warm up in the summer, you guys' shirts are completely soaked. <laughs> yeah, after the warm up, I drink about maybe. Uh, I'll say maybe 10, 10, 10 bottles, at least mm. ten bottles a day. Even without game, like without, yeah, like train, like train, like when I'm playing soccer, like when we're training, I have to drink ten bottles of water, at least ten bottles of water a day. In the summer, it gets higher than that. Yeah, because I could drink ten bottles of water and my pee still not clear, <laughs> so I have to drink an extra like four. Yeah, so, oh, Pedialyte is good too. Pedialyte does yeah. help, but like it's yeah, it's it's tough, man. It hydrates like, me a little faster why I cramp, as well. Cramp up so easy. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same thing though. Of like, like kind of like the recurring theme though. Of like, you have to know your body yeah. right. and like know if you're a person that sweats more and mm-hmm. you lose more water for the next training session, you need to drink more water. Right. You know, cool. that's good. Um, so then, uh, so let's talk about like uh, your guys's routines. Like, so do you have anything for like in the mornings or like what's your typical day look like uh, of like an average day? I don't know. Let's not do a double day, like a normal day. Normal. Just day. one session. Uh, I don't. Do you have a routine or is it different? Like routine? Yeah. Do you is it different every day? Like uh, I'm of a very I need to do the same thing every day or else my mind I, goes crazy. I, mm. I, I I listen to a lot of podcasts, like Faith Podcasts and like Drive like And the uh, Against All Odds podcast. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the top one. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. not that sponsors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to that and like just um pray, just pray mm-hmm. at, in the morning, early in the morning, five six a.m. Just pray and just think about uh how the day is gonna go and just uh, speak speak good things. You mm-hmm. know, like today's gonna be a great day. Today I'm I'm gonna kill it at training. Today I'm gonna work hard. Today I'm gonna be different in all all ways. Just do you say it out loud? Or you just think it. I, I or? just go in the mirror and say it to Do myself. you? Yeah. That's good. It's yeah. called. Uh, you know, oh, that's uh, what a weirdo. <laughs> listen, <laughs> what a weirdo. listen, like you, listen, listen. It work. It works for me. No, exactly. It works for and me. No, no. Do you know what that's called though? And then I, I write it down. Like I write my goals mm-hmm. during the day. What do I want to do? It works for me. No, no. It's it's called. Yeah. It's it's a thing. It's called uh, like positive affirmation. Yeah. It's like you can think it, write it down, or right. say it. People say it to do it in the mirror mm-hmm. stuff too. Yeah. But it's like telling yourself literally like you are a good right back. Yeah. Like you can take this exactly. guy on. Like you can exactly. be the guy to get yeah. five assists this year. Yeah. Like that's like something that's like really does help. So it's yeah. cool that so you do it in the mirror, huh? I do it in the mirror. Every and morning? I just say it to myself like you're a king. Man, you're <laughs> going to take over the day. Yeah. Man, you're great. You're that's awesome. good. You're going to conquer. You're just, come on. Yeah. Look I, at you. Yeah. You're a king. Yeah. You're a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> you're a weirdo. <laughs> That's true. I mean, no, no, no. It is I, I understand. You, do you do I something similar, it. though? Um, no, I don't do something <laughs> anything similar like that. But I, um, 
I did. Well, it's yeah. kind of like I mean, not that, but mm. in other aspects, something similar. Like I wake up, I wake up at doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I try to wake up at like six o'clock every day, um, six o'clock or like even earlier, and I just try to. First thing I do is just pray, pray, um, read read my Bible. Mm. And that's the first thing I do. Then occasionally, sometimes I put on like music that like worship music to help me get the day started. But before training sessions, I don't, this is funny, but the past two weeks, I haven't eaten before training. Really? So it's a little bit of like intermittent fasting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But but it's really like, I, people say intermittent fa- fasting, but I literally, like, I stopped doing it because initially because of my weight. Because mm-hmm. I, because you know, like I, if I eat, I add, I add weight so, so easily. Yeah. So it's just something that I started trying. Like, you know what? I'm going to, because I heard if you, if your first cardio session in the morning is before you eat, you burn more fat. Like you burn more fat. Mm. That's basically what I started trying two weeks ago when I was, I think I was 217 pounds. Wait, was so you do cardio first and then you, you no like in the morning, like if I don't eat in the morning mm-hmm. before I go to the facility. Right. Just so like if you, your first session, if you do a cardio without eating, like first thing in the morning, Apparently, there's some like re- science to that. It makes your body. No, nah, I've read fat. that. Yeah, it makes your mm. body burn fat. You know. Okay. So, so that's why two weeks ago, because I was on. Remember when I told you I was like two eighteen? Yeah. And I was trying to um, drop to to like two thirteen, two twelve, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try it, try it out. So the past couple of weeks, I've been, I've not been eating before the sessions. I make, I make my smoothies, but I put it in my bag, so after the, after the session, I can drink it. Um, but. But it's crazy. In two weeks, I've from two eighteen now. Like I weigh in at two two thirteen. Wow! So I bet. And that's worked. It works for you. And to be honest, like it's not like I know it's crazy thinking. Oh, this guy's lost like five pounds in two weeks or more than five pounds. Like I feel good. Yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. Feel, like, do you feel like lack of I energy feel, at all? No. I that's feel, good. I feel good, man. I feel I feel good, and and it's just it's just I think it's just something I'm gonna be doing. For the meantime, until I until I get to it gets to the point where like I feel like my weight is too too low, you know, and then maybe I might start having maybe a little bit of smoothie in the morning. But mm. I like it so far. That's man. good, yeah. Mm. So far. And then, do you you have breakfast before? Yeah, I gotta have my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I have my breakfast and um, I bike. You know, do the bike before the training session, and then mm. I have a smoothie and a snack on that. Yeah. So like a little bit like a, just a like the same kind of smoothie, like just a lot of yeah, fruit. Just a lot of fruits. So just yeah. a lot of car like simple carbs yeah. so for energy and, and that, stuff. That actually that gives me the energy to, you know, just start practice and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, because I'm I'm a like a hypoglycemic. So like I need to eat like every few hours, just like mm. something small, like an apple or something. Okay. Because if I don't eat before and then I go work out, I pass out. Wow. Like I've done it a couple of times. I did it in my college weight room. I literally was just like going away and I just like you get like, you know, when you stand up too quick and you get tunnel vision, it's bad. Like all, all you'll do a set and you'll stop and it's super, you're like, whoa. And then you have to like literally just fall down. Mm-hmm. I've done that at my college weight room and I did that. in uh, like when I was in high school, just, and I just skipped like one meal. Like so I didn't have, have lunch. Snack in between meals and stuff. Yeah. So like, I, I mean, I can have three meals a day and be fine. Okay. But if I'm doing like a hard workout, I have just to make sure that I've had some food in my stomach. Mm-hmm within like the last two, three hours. Okay. Even it's just like half a banana. Right. Because like, yeah, it's it's the worst feeling. But uh but yeah, it's like it's funny. Um so so then for like morning routines too, um do you guys have coffee or any caffeine before? Oh I love coffee. Yeah. I love my coffee in the morning. Sorry bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I I, I can't I can't yeah. Uh, I mean Do you have I've never seen drink coffee. No. He doesn't you don't drink coffee. coffee. I have coffee. It's not a coffee guy. Life. And you didn't like it. I fell asleep both times. Really? I always offer him coffee. He 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 doesn't. Yeah. He don't want coffee. So do you have co- how many times a day do you have coffee? I'll say maybe three. So three like before one before training. Yeah. One after like what lunch? Like after lunch and then like after dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I can't do it after. I like I'm like in between. <clears throat> like I've like, I guess I don't know because if I'll have like one cup. If it's like I try to not have a cup of coffee after 4 p.m. because then I can't I, I feel like I stay awake. Mm. But like, yeah, but like I love I had to do the same thing one before training and mm-hmm. I'll do like one after lunch. But like I like that. But like I'm not addicted to it. Like, yeah, I, 
not I, I can stop anytime i, I promise stop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no it's it's a it's a um but like i was reading about caffeine and soccer and like and caffeine and working out like it's it's like a performance enhancer like it really mm-hmm. does like it, it increases your focus and does everything mm-hmm. but if you do overboard obviously it, right. can, it can cause anxiousness yeah. and be bad and everything you need to have a balance and everything yeah, everything in moderation do you have any caffeine at all during the day oh um, no no energy drinks what? tea that's caffeine so yeah, like sodas, soda. you don't drink sodas. Bang. Yeah. No. Uh, wow. Coffee, um, soda has coffee, um, caffeine too. Yeah, so a little bit. Yeah, a little no, bit. I don't. I don't touch caffeine. No. no. That's good. That's interesting. That's special. I mean, you're still. Yeah. No, you're not young anymore. Too young. I, I don't say that. You're not young. You're not young. You're you're experienced now. Yeah. Like, you're experienced. Experienced. Like, have you guys ever seen a like, like a like a lion drink a coffee or something? No, lions don't drink coffee. They, all, like, drink <laughs> they do. They, I saw it. I was just watching a nature documentary they and do. they were they all drank this <laughs> yeah, little you know puddle what? of coffee. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen, let me say, let me say something. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's a lie. You know when 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 Matt is lying, yeah. his eyes his eyes open, his, his, eyes open, open, and his nose open. is like, <laughs> yo, he just did it. <laughs> I, don't you, I know, funny. I can't Come lie. On. That's funny. I can't lie. I can't lie. <laughs> his eyes were like this. <laughs> I get all. I try to be serious. That's like my serious face, but it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Um. Okay. So then, so that's like morning routines. Is there anything else in the mornings that you do, like, just at all? So you wake up at six. That's a long time. Oh. You, leave, you leave for training at eight. That's yeah. like the two hours, though. Especially without breakfast. What do you do? Um, no, oh, just talk. Like talk. Sometimes I talk to my family. That too. Like, mm. Talk to my. Talk to my it's, that's, yeah. that's key. Like we have a group message, and um, we just like mm. wish like wish each other well. I guess like you know before every morning. Yeah, just yeah. I call yeah, my mom started, while I'm in, you know while I'm in the bike. Yes, yeah, uh, face summer. Yeah. Uh huh. But pretty yeah. much, no, pretty much that's, that's it. Like, all that time is just, like, quiet. It's quiet time for me. Just, like, like getting together, ready yeah. for the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I want to start adding some, like, maybe, like, get up and, like, stretch a little bit. And, like, in, even if it's in bed or, like, out or, like, a formal at mm-hmm. the side. I'm trying to add that, but I haven't, I haven't done that yet. And you guys are roommates, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're roommates. Oh, he plays music, too. But yeah, like what's like you I guys' guess, music up, clash? Like when I no no no, mine is like a lot lower. <laughs> um, I get up in the morning at six thirty, and it takes like oh like at six, uh-huh. it's like maybe an hour, and then boom, once you start hearing music loud, like <laughs> you know he's on. <laughs> just plastic. Yeah, is it is it like, like worship not, music too? Music. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. it's called music. You guys should just make a playlist together. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We need a, we need house rules. We still haven't. We gone still haven't like established yeah. house mm. rules. You know, but I'm the I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, you can be the captain. It's fine. Um, and then he's so, a good chef. Yeah, he's. I was, yeah. I was actually gonna ask that. So after training, then, so you guys just get back. We, Besides today, obviously you're here after yeah, training. But yeah. when you, what do you guys usually do? I normally like go back. I have like, um, because when we get back is like at two. So like, I normally have like another smoothie, mm-hmm. and then have like a big like granola parfait. Like mm. no, like is it granola parfait? No, it's yogurt parfait. <laughs> It's the yogurt. I know what you mean. I don't. I had it. I didn't even in my head. It's the yogurt parfait. I have a big one because it's like it's like, and I. But I'm so excited to have it because it's like I those are eat, good. I didn't eat breakfast too. Yeah. You know, so like it's kind of like breakfast to me, but mm-hmm. at, but then it's at lunchtime. So I have that, and then a couple like three, four hours later, we're always like, who come knocking on my door? Like, hey, Toby, what are we doing for? What are we doing for dinner? <laughs> so we decide to like cook together or something for dinner, and then. You know, we do things as a family, bro. Yeah. You guys, so you guys usually uh, like cook eat together, together yeah. for dinner. Yeah, yeah, eat together. Yeah. And so, so, if, so you have like your your two smoothies, granola parfait yeah. or yeah. yogurt parfait. <laughs> you <laughs> messed me up. <laughs> and uh, and then a combined bigger and, and dinner. Combined bigger dinner. What about you? What do you? What about your meals? Uh, just eggs in the morning. Eggs, mm-hmm. toast, toasted bread. Uh, my coffee, and then after the biking. Before going into the first session, just have like a smoothie, like a fruit smoothie. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, then we cook lunch or we we'll go somewhere. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we cook lunch. Sometimes we'll, oh, the well, truth lately, comes out, huh? Cook. Now, like, but it's, it's been like one, it's, it's been, really yeah, really I know it's hard because stuff it changes yeah. all the time. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been once we've cooked lunch, yeah, you know, but most times it's always like if we're <laughs> cooking together, it's most times, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It's, it's Toby's microphone was down. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Me. I'm sorry, but um, 
most times when we cook together is at is dinner time. Uh-huh. You know? but, What's the typical dinner? Um, rice. Some it's too rice. It's early too, dinner. Maybe early dinner. Like yeah. a, like seven, seven or six, six thirty seven. But it's rice stew, chicken, and veggies, and veggies. Mm. Like that's but stew is like I don't know if you know it's like kind of like tomato. It's like a tomato like. It's not tomato sauce. It's like a tomato sauce, yeah, but it's like, it's different. It's not no... It's not tomato soup? Spaghetti sauce or tomato soup. It's like a stew, like... He adds up, like, spices, like, you know, like, different spices. So it's like watery, more watery. Um, yeah, yeah, it's more watery, yeah. Than, like, a tomato soup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a tomato soup. You never had tomato soup? Like you, had that. That's like a very like American thing. Tomato yeah, soup, tomato grilled soup cheese. Is good. Tomato soup is good. It's pretty much to like, you know, wet the rice and stuff, mm-hmm. like gravy yeah. type of oh, okay, stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's like that. Like I put, it's, I can't really explain it. You have to take shots. If I, right. honestly, if I was, if I was on your diet plan, I would lose a pound a day, like steadily. Yeah. Like, <laughs> All the way through, like I'd be losing it's, so much it's, weight. It's good, man. But then, to be honest, like I'm, I like we, I eat like my dinner is is a good amount. Yeah, like, mm. it's a bigger. So you do like a smaller meals, and then you like and splurge. Then, and then I, I splurge, <coughs> but it's not like as it's not really crazy, but it's like a good. It's a good amount. Like mm. like a regular person's dinner is probably like that's probably like times two of a regular person's dinner. Mm. That, like yeah so my dinner is i have to enjoy that like, yeah i think i think pride of that. you enjoy every single meal totally. yeah, true. <laughs> but you guys and do you nap no i haven't Ooh, napped. i haven't I'm napped since i came here bro really like and that's like that's something i want to i think that that might have helped me in the two days like even like in between sessions but i've never i haven't napped since since i like in the past three four weeks except like yes yesterday was the first time but it's sunday man. yeah you know but I want to I want to try that and see if that helps with my like my recovery. Probably mm-hmm. does, it's just more sleep, yeah. It's just mm. like, it's just hard. Do you nap, man? Oh, I'm a big napper. Yeah. yeah. Usually this is my nap time right now. Yeah. So you nap and then you still sleep at least eight hours a night. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Same, same. But it's like I feel like so it was hard the first like week or two to do that like with an hour because I do it like hour long nap yeah. and then like I would only sleep like five six hours at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then like I was like I just kept on trying like I literally put my phone across the other room. You know, and just sit there, even if it was like three hours, just me sitting this like, like just eyes closed, mm-hmm. but still awake. But then you get into like that routine of like, I feel like my body got used to going to bed at nine o'clock, sleeping all the way until like six o'clock and the hour nap. So I don't know. Like you don't wake up and feel like you overslept. No. Mm-mm. Wow. But like, I always just, whenever I wake up, I like, a yeah. Because I usually I'll wake up at like in, anywhere between like five thirty and seven, mm-hmm. and so whenever it is, if it's in between that time, I'll just get up. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. And then, how long do you nap for? About forty-five minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. How long's your naps? Zero. You know, he well, no. When you do nap, <laughs> <laughs> when you do nap. Um, when I do nap, my nap, my nap is like two hours. Wow, that's a, like, that's a, that, yeah. forty-five yeah. minutes. I feel like is a good time. I'm like minutes. I'm like between. I, I need like I need to sleep at least two hours. Like if I look at the time and I'm like, I have to wake up in less than an hour. I don't nap. My yeah. guy, if you if you nap for two hours, you might as well just I wake up the next day. I could. There's <laughs> come on. There's no hours. way I could sleep yeah, at night if I slept for two I hours. I cannot nap for two hours. I'll wake yeah. up with a headache. Really? Or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's. I definitely like have to have I have to have at least an hour and thirty minutes for me to, to for me to nap. You know. Wow. One time I I took a nap. I actually took a nap in my bed and it was like late. It was like one of those, I don't know why, but I slept for like two hours. It was dark out. I woke up and I started getting ready for training. Like I thought it was the morning. <laughs> like full, I didn't check my, I just started getting ready. And then that, like, it was like a two or three minutes. And then I'm like, sweaty. it's six o'clock at night. Yeah. Not like six o'clock. It was the weirdest thing. You lost, you lost, you lost your time. Huh? Yeah. What? You go in the nat vortex. You don't have to come out. <laughs> um, and then, uh, and then, so what about like desserts or like, do you have like any like cheat stuff? Like I'll, I'll say right now, like I usually have, I have the cookies. Dessert. I love cookies. Like I need to have something. I am very strict with my diet, but I do have cookies, like my oven baked Nestle Toll House cookies, three, four or five of those, probably three times a week. And that's like my, that's like my reward of staying strict with my diet, doing everything right three, four times a week. And that's like what helps me. I'm not really a dessert guy. I, I'm, I don't, I'm not really like into sweets and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you that you just have your meals and that's it. Just you just enjoy food. good food. Yeah, I just I really enjoy good food. Cause I'm I, I have the biggest it. sweet tooth. 
I could eat candy yeah. all day long. Yeah. If I want, if I was not strict, I would, right. I would, I would just have candy, donuts, sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah. Wow. yeah it's, I, I like, I'm, I have a, an obsession with cookies and cream. Mm-hmm. Cookies and cream, like anything, pretty much. The Hershey bar? Like the Hershey bar. Yeah. That's one of my favorite um, candy, but, but it's more like ice cream and like, like cookies and cream ice cream or like a shake. Mm-hmm. I love that. But, but I've seen how the toll it takes on my body. Yeah. Like weight wise. Yeah. So I can't, like, I'm, it's gone to a point where like, I don't even like think about it anymore. Like, I literally, even on off days, I'd rather eat, instead of eating like three or four meals a day, I'd rather eat six six meals that day than have a dessert, you know? It's yeah. Like, oh, That's right. It really like messes with your weight. Huh? Yeah. It messes, bro, it messes with my weight bad. Like, mm hmm. Like in hmm. off season, like when, like I think I went to Disney. Before I went to Disney, I was two seventeen. That was two years ago. I was like two two seventeen or two sixteen pounds. Yeah. After Disney, I came back. I was two twenty three. How long were you there? A week and a half. <laughs> uh, two twenty three pounds. Dang. I was just like, and it's not worth it. Just, it's not like, worth it's not, the effort it's after. Worth, it's not the yeah. It's not worth the effort <laughs> after. You know. But yeah. I love, bro, I, I love, I'll, I'll finish any kind of Oreo, Oreo is it cookies and cream, Oreo shake. Or Do you just like Oreos and milk? That's like one of my favorite. I've never had that. Are that's you serious? Thing. No, that's the funny thing. <laughs> like, I've never actually, I always see commercials of people <laughs> put Oreos in the milk. But I've never ever put Hold on. Put Oreo so in your milk. favorite dessert is cookies and cream, yeah. but you've never actually had the I've real thing. Had the real, like, Oreo in that. Oh, like, my God. I've had Oreo cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not had that. People always like twist. I think the commercial is twist, lick, and yeah. dunk, yeah. dunk, and something or dunk. But I've never ever ever like put it in the milk. There's, no. It's that's one of my favorite like desserts. Like I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, I love it. But would, would a croissant like count as a dessert? Mm, nah. No, not really. I mean, I mean, a chocolate croissant, I guess, maybe. Okay, okay, no, okay never mind. You just have a croissant here and there, or what? I need to talk about that for the morning, <laughs> for, for for breakfast sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes like well, after training, I just like. I, I, I love mm. so we had yeah. one yesterday yeah? yeah that's the one thing honestly that like i even though it's hard for me to build up muscle <laughs> what would you uh, no, like, I had, yeah, yeah. No i had one yesterday <laughs> i had one two days ago and maybe like <laughs> well i just had days, one yesterday. Like three days ago too. <laughs> but but just once in a while it's just, just once in a while, while. yeah <laughs> Yeah. No, that I was like, that's the good thing. I could like, for example, I went over to Europe and, for Christmas, and I if for the week I'd say over the Christmas break, I didn't work out or I didn't train, and I just was like, I'm gonna enjoy Christmas in Europe with Mimi and her family. I ate whatever I wanted. Did literally just croissants and and all the, everything in Europe, the pastries and bakeries, and went out to dinner and had everything. I checked my weight after that week. I was down a pound. Wow. But like, it's my body composition though. So like it, oh yeah, it's like, oh, you stayed fit. But like I lost muscle mass and probably gained mm-hmm. fat, you know, but my overall compens, like my overall weight was low. <laughs> so, you know, like, <laughs> so, but then Bro, in the perfect world, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I think life is so much, so much more beautiful. Yeah. But the thing is <laughs> when I was, when I was 13 and when, when I was 14 in high school as a freshman and I was 95 pounds, trying to get girls <laughs> and I was like a stick and then you're trying to go go into a tackle and you get yeah. flown off yeah. and all you wish and you're working out working out eating to the yeah. point you feel sick every single day all I would literally and, I, and then after like a year you've gained five pounds and you're like this is not this is yeah. not it like I don't like this so like yeah I would I would have killed to be able to gain weight but like now it's nice yeah. but it's all pros and cons um yeah, so the, so now it's like that's like everything I want to talk to you about in terms of like how like the, over the last few months and I I didn't dive as much into your careers because we do have like the full podcast um, on both of you guys. So if you guys want to hear more of their stories, it'll be in the, uh, the description if you want to check that out. But I just have like a few extra questions I just wanted to get to. Um, but I wanted to ask, so Brian, you've played over in, in Hungary and you've played in Honduras and now America. Um, do you i know and it's we just talked about how it's so hard to plan for the future but like do you have any like desire to go back abroad and play in a different country again or do you want to like stay in america i, w- I would like to stay in america mm-hmm. yeah just because it's not like since it's your home since i'm home i feel like i'm home here yeah but i wouldn't mind going abroad going it's and it's a hard question because you know ne- it, it comes down to the team the contract yeah. like what's going on but yeah but 
I like it out here. Yeah. And um, just my my goal. I mean, I want to go MLS. Mm-hmm. But if something comes up in Europe, um, I wouldn't mind taking that chance as well. Yeah. How about you? Because you've only played in America. That's a good question, man. Thank you. That's a very good question. I brainstorm. See, I brainstorm questions up there. Oh. On my podcast, brainstorm. That's a good question because because <laughs> last year, um, because one of my one of my boys like he's actually like playing in Belgium. First, no, oh, he wasn't. He wasn't Belgium. No, he's, he wasn't first division Belgium. Now he is um, playing in second division in League One. Wow, yes, I know, I know. He went to Costa Carolina, and he's doing well. And this kid is like, like he's like technically he's not the greatest on the ball, but this guy is a is a tank. Mm. He's an athlete. He's and when he gets chances, he scores. Yeah, you know, stuff like that, you know. So like I like I, at a point last year, I was like I, I started thinking a lot. I was like, you know, maybe in Europe, maybe in Europe, like like. I might be a, be more, you, you know, I I don't know, more like unique, <laughs> unique, you know, than than in the United States, you know, because like, the U.S. has a lot of big, strong, like I athletic know, guys. I know. I know. Um, and what's crazy is that obviously, like the money there is like so much more than in the United States, even though it's still growing in the United States. But last year I thought about that, but like right now I'm at a point where like if I'm still possibly. Like I'm training every day, seeing that I could, I could improve every day. Mm. Then, then what's the point? Yeah. Like, what's really the point of trying of, of hoping that you're in Europe when you know that this level is still not easy for me? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so I'm just, I'm just glad I'm in a place where I can grow. You know, because that's and, you don't feel like you're at a dead end. I'm not. A, no, yeah. I don't feel like I'm at a dead, dead, dead end at all. Yeah. But, but that's a very good question, man. That's a very good question. I think about it a lot. Yeah, I was even talking to my agent. Like, um, do you want to like look for something in England or look for something in Europe or something like you know anything, even if it's a tryout? But but right now I'm just I'm just happy where I am, man. I'm happy where I am because as long as you're growing, it's 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 fun, man. Yeah, it's fun. And this yeah, year, it's a lot of good players on the team. You know? Surrounded by a lot of good players, yeah. So, so it should be fun. It should be fun. They're very competitive too. Yeah. And th- this is like what I thought about that, like, cause I've played, I haven't played like in a very like good setup pro league. Like it's always been like bounce back or like the semi pro level. Yeah. But like, I always feel like the, I don't know, I'm curious what you think, but I feel like the grass, like there's always pros and cons to both, you know, mm-hmm. like you're like, when you're over here, sometimes you're just like, oh, I just want to go abroad so bad. Yeah. But then dealing with the visa issues and being the foreigner and dealing with the foreign spots yeah. and then dealing, being so far away from home with a different language. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're like, man, when I was over there, sometimes I'm like, man, all I want to do is play in the U.S. <clears throat> so it's like, I, it's kind of like a little bit of like the grass is always greener. Did you, right. did you find that? I mean, all? I didn't, I don't know. I just don't think about that. I think when you're passionate about it and this is something, when you already made up your mind that this is what you want and this is where I'm going, it's like, okay, I could play in like a pitch that is like messed up and I'm I'm gonna try to just do my best. Yeah. You know, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's like I'm not really thinking of okay, uh the maybe the weather is not good, maybe the maybe it's cold, maybe it's hot. No, no, no. I just wanna play, have fun and, and improve and just yeah. That's good man. Yeah. You know, honestly like like that's that's really impressive, bro. Cause it's like just just know you have to adapt. Yeah. This is this is what you chose to do. Like until like your legs give give up, so it's like yeah. okay, just go at it and don't think about okay, I'm in bad conditions. Just this is what you want, go for it. Yeah, that's good because yeah. I don't see myself playing in Sweden or Hungary. <laughs> too cold. Too cold. Man. I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. I know how hard it is for my body to get warmed up. So it's it's, it's but honestly, like that's the like I want to be like you when I grow up. Bro. <laughs> That's the right mindset to have. <laughs> I know it is a good mindset because I struggle with that. Like I'm sometimes like I was over in like Germany and like so many of the fields are private there. So mm-hmm. if I wanted to do private training, you're training on a dirt like 
uh, futsal court, right. but it's like literally like dirt. And like I'm getting my private, like my own individual sessions in there. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's like raining, you're muddy, you're slip and fall, and you're all covered in mud. And like I'd be so mad. I'd end my session and be like, what the, like why am I out here a thousand miles away but treading listen, in dirt? Well, you kept going. I did, and you, yeah. And you're here now. Yeah. So it's like you're passionate about what you do. Yeah. I, I, but I had yeah. those moments of like. I've had those moments okay, as yeah. well, but it's like, okay, snap back. Go, exactly. Go, keep going. That's the thing. Yeah. You always snap back and yeah. be like, I, I'm out here. Yeah. This is what I chose to do. I want to yeah. be out here. Things will get better. I'm working to make it better. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then so my, my next question is, um, in an ideal world, how long would you play for? As long as possible? Is that what like you guys are, are thinking? Um, yeah. Like... However long this journey can go. Yeah. I'll say 35, 36. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's literally like however long this journey can go. Like if if it's ending next year, then so be it. It's ending next year. But <clears throat> of, like obviously I want to play however long I want. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gucci. Uh, she likes you guys. Yeah. No, that's how but I. Yeah. But yeah, like I, like, I just. <laughs> I just, I, like, I want to play, like, I want to, I want to see how long I can take this. Like, that's always been my mindset, like, since, like, I started, I signed my first, first professional contract. I want to see how long I can take this, but, like, I'm just at a point where, like, 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 obviously not give up easily, you know, but if, if it's clear that this year is supposed to be my last year or two years time in three years time in 10 years time, who knows? It's so be it. Mm. I'm supposed to be playing when I'm 70. I'm supposed to break the Guinness book. <laughs> you record, you know, then I'm going to be 70 years old and you're going to see me score. Okay? So, <laughs> Just done. Take, so, it, take it day by day and day see how. Day, bro, yeah. You know? Yeah. No, that's good. Um, and then, so once you are done, so what so like if like a, you imagine it now you're five years post retirement where I just want to know like a, an image of like what you guys like what do you want to do? Where mm-hmm. do you want to live? Like, where do you see yourself at? Right now, I see myself in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There you go. Okay. I don't know why. I just, I just, it's just something. I see myself in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina because I, well, I kind of know why. Like, I went there for, I did mention that I went there for <clears throat> four days in the off season. Mm-hmm. But that's where I finished college. And, um, and that's where I played PDL. So, like, like my family, my church, my it's a church family, but even outside the church, like the Pastor Jamie, Maddie Barfield, like yo, I I had these moments this like past off season. I went there and I was like, I got so emotional, like it felt like home. That's good, away from home. Mm-hmm. So right now, I just see myself in Murder Beach, South Carolina. Could happen, could not happen. You know, it's possible, but. Um, but I definitely, I definitely, I definitely see myself going back there. Just, I don't know. Doing what? I no clue. No clue, but. Do you want to stay in the game, like be a coach? <gasps> no. You don't want to be a coach? No. I don't see myself being a coach, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm good. I'm good. Like, honestly, I'm good with, like, kids, you know. But I don't see, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be soccer. I don't want it to be soccer. Mm-hmm. Okay. You think once you're done playing, you're going to kind of, like, focus, like, transition to something else? Transition to something else where I find myself actually working with people like mm. younger people, but not, not in, I don't think it's going to be in the field of soccer. I or, don't know what that mm. look like right now, but like, I mean, now I don't know if you know, like I kind of like, I serve, I serve at life church, yeah. church right down the street um, for, with some younger kids. So I see myself like, I think it's like, I think right now, I think that might be something I, that's my calling. Mm-hmm. I see myself working with, kids sometime in the future but i don't i don't want it to be soccer like i yeah like once i'm done with soccer i think i might be done with soccer you know mm-hmm. and then what about a uh, family like do you want a family like kids wife the whole yeah. the whole thing yeah how many kids do you see three three kids i see three i don't know why i just yeah. came out so quick yeah. like i've been thinking about this for a long time <laughs> no, no that's bro. your gut your gut instinct oh, that's your shit. gut instinct damn, damn. i'm like interviewing for a date right yeah, now the, sh- the, sh- the shotties are gonna be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> even though my male my demographic on youtube is like 99 percent male yeah. yeah i see myself 
I, I, I mean, obviously, I'd love to have a family. Yeah. Here, you know. That's So Myrtle Beach, huh? I'm doing something in Myrtle Beach doing out there. In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> Little family. Yeah. That's good. I like. I just like to see the, like, you know, picture it. Yeah. What about what, you, what about you? Same same questions, Brian. So, um, po- post, um, po- so you, post. you play as long as you can, you take it as far as you can, you have a great career. Um, but then, you know, it, you hit the end of the road, whatever the reason is, but then like five years down after that, um, like what, where do you see your, where do you imagine yourself being in retirement? Do you like the location, like, like city, place, like living or just like, if you have one, yeah. If you like, you know, like Toby is like, he kind of had that feeling like Myrtle okay. beach. Like I have a feeling in my, my gut, like either San Diego or Portland or like Seattle. That's like what I have in my head. I don't I know see, why. I don't know. I see myself in Dallas. In Dallas. Yeah. Huh. So from Bronx, you're going to go from the Bronx yeah. to, to, to uh, Dallas. Like Dallas. Why, why Dallas? I just, I, I like the city. That is a shot in Dallas. I like Dallas. Uh-huh. You know, I'm just, yeah, I like, I like businesses. So I would like to own a business and um, own a business back in Honduras as well. And just having a family, mm. wife, three kids as well. Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and just, uh, yeah, just. Just taking vacations, going on vacations, enjoying like enjoying, not being enjoying, on the yeah exactly because that's something like I like I'm super big on the routine. I love it, and mm. I and there's right now and even in the next however many years, mm. like I don't want to change, but I can't wait once I am done to have weekends off. Right, you know, and just I can't wait yeah. to be like, oh, it's August. Oh, it's not like I'm not in season. I can go do something. <laughs> like that is something I am excited for. Even okay. though right now and in, in, in the near future, no, I this is what I'm passionate about. Mm. I'm completely willing to give that up. But you know, you always think yeah. like ten years down the road and mm. stuff. Just being just being near the beach, just the beach in Dallas. No, not in Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, <laughs> back in Honduras. Like, okay, okay. Yeah. So you so you see yourself kind of going back and going forth back a lot. and forth, going on vacation in Honduras. <laughs> Come on, come well, on, Charlie. Was that a joke? Yeah, yeah it was a joke. joke right? You trying to trying get to me, think, boy. I thought he was trying to get you. He was trying to get me. Come on, man. Uh, it's just beach, funny because he's like, you know, I want to be in Dallas, you know, by the beach. I see myself no, by the beach. No. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. If you ask you, nah, nah. you can ask me you, what you want my idea of it. I want to see what, what, what are you going to be doing out there doing this Like, What do you see? Yeah, no, I definitely, like, I want to be West Coast, like Portland, Seattle, like San Diego, but I love San Diego. Mm. Like, that's like the weather every day, 70, 75 degrees, beautiful. People are always outside surfing, swimming, running, kiteboarding, like doing something like. We're traveling to San Diego, right? We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, play. we go to, we play San Diego. It's, it's a, it's an amazing, I've like. Been, I've never been to San Diego. So it's, it's like, it's my favorite city that I've ever been to out of everywhere I've traveled. Yeah. I just love it. And like Mimi's family's from there. Okay. So that's like perfect. You're going to come back right with us, right? When we play there. <laughs> just <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> um, but then I want to like do, like I really am passionate about like, I don't know if you guys have seen, I have a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. So I'm passionate about like, yeah, making some videos. Um, become average. You come in average? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, li- I, really, I really like making videos and like content and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. So whether that's like still continuing that or like working for someone else or building something else, but mm-hmm. I feel like I'm always going to be putting some form of content in uh, whether whatever social media it is out there, you okay. know, even if it's not about my life anymore, if it's about something else, but putting it out there. And I, and I really am like, I really like training like I want to stay involved in soccer, but I think it's like on like the training, like the off season training of like pros mm-hmm. or like semi pros or guys that want to make it up to that level or like kids like uh like Chikling or like RT that are just at that level mm-hmm. and you train them on the side to like really help them get up there, but like something like that. That's like okay. that's what that, I see. That, that looks I, I I just envisioned that. You did, yeah. Sick. Yeah, thanks. People would love you to help them with that. Hey, thanks. And then, uh, yeah, same thing. Three. I want three kids as two. So I guess we're all gonna have three kids. Well, I'm the closest because I'm uh, I'm getting married here soon. Yeah, so. you are the closest. <laughs> you guys need to catch up. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Thanks. No, it's it won't be for like two years. Um, but yeah, anything else? Anything else you guys want to say? This is your second time on the podcast. Is there anything that you wish you would have said last time that you thought about later? <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. 
all good no yeah, that's fine <laughs> you can it can always be number three you know i'll have you guys back on this thank this you seat. thank you for having us matt <laughs> and thanks for everyone watching and, oh yeah i got yeah. something to say hey, hey brian matt, was talking no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, matt has never beat me in the game with two touch <laughs> Are you serious? All right, Brad, oh, Brad, that, that's, you saying, that's, that's, hold on. Wow, wait, wait. <laughs> let, him, let him say something. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Let Thank you. Uh, so okay, I think, maybe he's beat me a couple times. <laughs> I think I remember this morning uh, flicking your ear like five or six times. <laughs> and my ear is was fresh. I don't, no, no, no pain at all. It was one. So he, he, he <laughs> no, it was other people playing. It wasn't like mm. one, you know. But five to zero. Wow. He was decent, but... Okay, okay. Beat me. Yeah, that was <laughs> we'll have a, all the two touch games though. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna he's gonna post a video of him. I think he posted a video of him being doing a goalie session. We're gonna post a video of him playing two touch. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a hop and goal. But no, thank you for having us. No bro. problem, no problem. Uh, thank you, Matt. You guys ready for lunch? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where do you want to go? Is this lunch or dinner? It's lunch. It's still you pay, you pay? Um I got you guys. Thank you, Matt. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we are going to go grab something to eat right now. But thank you guys for watching the Against All Odds podcast once again. Big thank you to Chaos Soccer Gear for sponsoring this episode of the podcast again. If you guys need any, if you need a soccer ball, t-shirt, ball pump, go check out chaossoccergear.com in the description. And we'll see you guys in the Yo, next I video. Need sponsors, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put my blue check thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>